Hello everyone, this is James Shore again with another Test Driven Development video and it is still May 26th. I am picking up exactly where I left off in the last video and what I was doing was I was working on a spike to try to get icons to show up the way I'd like them to in a text field. So uh, should have that coming up. There we are. Using the grid bag layout I was able to get this to work more or less properly and now, I think I want it to seem like, I, I, I am actually considering, maybe I don't want to use the grid bag layout, maybe I want to have it inside the text field. Um, that would be pretty cool. And the way that would work is with an overlapping uh, layout manager. But let's see what happens, because then we have to deal with the text going underneath the icon and stuff like that. Here, I think if we type too much, it scrolls, and that's actually quite neat. Uh, let's see... Let's play a little bit with what it would look like if we had the icon label be white background. Set. There we go. Um, oh, well, that's surprising. It didn't do anything at all. So, set background only if it's com opaque. I'm guessing that for whatever reason the label is not opaque. Um, that's surprising. Okay, let's see what else we've got going on here. We've got... Hmm, okay. Well, that answers that. What about the icon? Can I change anything about it? No, didn't think so. Hmm. Well, this is a spike, and the purpose of a spike is to experiment. And so I've got this pretty much figured out how it would work in this case. And, you know, it's it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. But... I think I'd like to also see what it would look like if we had that um, if we had it show up. Uh, sorry, <laughs> if if we had it show up inside the field. So we'll call this with grid bag, and let's also do a. icon text field with overlay. And in this case, we're going to do this. So now we're going to use the overlay layout. Yeah. And overlay layout. Oh. 
How does it work? Children will be placed such that their alignment points are all on top of each other. Well, that's not super useful, is it? Okay, well, let's see what happens when we try to use it. Oh, we need to make, yeah, that should be right. It wants the container, that's interesting. Well, there's our overlay. That's a gigantic nothing. Hmm. Well, that sort of kind of works. I'm going to pause the video, see if I can Google uh, anything about this back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. It, um, I think the easiest way to do this is, uh, is a label has an alignment, and I think I might be able to use that. So, So I might be able to say icon dot set alignment x to right alignment. Now in the documentation it says set alignment, not set alignment x. So I don't know what that's all about. I think that's from component. No, it's not. Okay, maybe my, maybe I'm just using, I don't know. I'm confused. Well, that aligns it sort of to the right. Not enough though. Okay, more research necessary. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, I th can't seem to get this to work. Um, yeah, it just, it's not showing up in the right part of the screen. Uh, I'm going to set this aside for the moment, and instead of creating a panel, I think what I'd like to try creating is a layered panel, a layered pane. I don't think there's much difference between these two. I think layered pane is a heavier weight version of this. It perhaps uses the overlay layout in, under the scenes or something like that, but let's see what happens.
So let's see what happens with that. Uh, well, it's an absolute disaster. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, that is worthless. Okay, so layered pane, I don't know what's going on with that. Doesn't appear to work at all. Maybe I have to maybe I have to tell it to use the default layer. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to this overlay layout and see what if instead of adding the icon directly, I add, because the text field's working great, what if I add the um, uh, a panel that contains the icon? So I'm going to try that now. In fact, I'm going to just deal with the icon panel now because I want to get it working properly before I bring in the whole overlay stuff. So using a standard icon panel, that puts it in the center, center top. That's using a flow layout, that's great. What happens if we tell it to use the right alignment? Not much, I suspect. Yeah, that doesn't matter. But now, I believe we can tell the flow layout to write justify. So we can create the flow layout and tell it to write a line. There we go. And there it is. Awesome. And that's doing more or less what I want it to. Okay. So now, rather than returning it, I can add it to our overlay layout and let's see if that works well it does except that the panel is not transparent um, is there any way to make the tr panel background transparent No. I think we can make a glass panel, though, which should be transparent, but we're out of time for this episode, so that's what I'm going to pick up with next time. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.